the Israelis, they they say that they are uh, Semites. Yep. The thing is that some some of them are Semites, yes, but they are a very tiny percentage, and these are the Jews uh, that you know were there and never left. But the Ashkenazi, they're white European Jews. Palestinians are also Semites. Arabs are Semites. So if you want to talk about anti-Semitic, I have several points here. Israel, Israel is anti-Semitic. It is the most anti-Semitic thing on the planet. It, it hijacks the Jewish religion, Judaism. It hijacks it and says, we are the Jewish state, the Jewish state. You know, they, they claim to speak for all Jews, which is insulting because you're basically... First, first of all, you're, you're, with your actions committing genocide in Gaza, you are dirtying and staining the religion, which is an offense that is offensive to anybody who's Jewish. Number two, the people you're killing are Semites, Arabs, Palestinians. They are Semites. When you murder 10,000 Semites in three weeks, yeah, you're pretty fucking anti-Semitic. And when you put them in a concentration camp, you are anti-Semitic. Yes, you are. And the thing is that they are not even Semitic. These, these European... American Jews that are coming to Israel are not Semites. They're just not Semites. They're not from the region. The, you have always had Semites who are Jewish, Semites who are Christian, Semites who are, you know, Muslim, and they never left. They are in the region, you know? And the thing is, what Israel did is Israel, on purpose, destroyed all the Jewish communities in the Arab countries so that it could steal the Jews from those Arab countries and put them in Israel. So that, number one, it could, you know, legitimize itself as the Jewish state. Like, oh, look, we have all the Jews in the world here. And number two, increasing the population reinforces the ethnic cleansing, right? Because the, the bigger the population, the harder it is to undo the ethnic cleansing, which is a, a crime against humanity. So what they did is, for example, in, in Iraq, they, the Israelis bombed a Jewish temple, a synagogue, to scare Iraqi Jews into running away and moving to Israel. Once again, I'm going to repeat that. The Israeli Mossad bombed a synagogue in Iraq, in Baghdad, to scare Iraqi Jews into moving to Israel. I Israel also used and exploited, what they would do is they would go to the Jewish community in Egypt, for example, and exploit it and use the people without them knowing for the Mossad, for spying or for sabotage. And then what they did is that they basically turn people against the Jewish community because now everybody's saying, well, are you working with the Mossad? How do we know who's working with the Mossad? So they, they go and corrupt and, and dirty the name of the Jewish community. And, and they, they don't even care about the, the, the Jews that are killed or, or you know, sent to prison because of their actions. The whole scandal in, in, in Egypt with the Mossad, they even bombed American and British institutes that were run by the embassies. You know, so much for allies, right? <laughs> Jesus. So they did that on purpose. To, to, Israel did that on purpose. They, they turned the uh, people against the Jewish community in Egypt so that the Jews would be scared and move to Israel. So they, 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 they did this everywhere. In Syria, for example, there are no more Jews. Israel took all of them against their will. They didn't even want to go. And, and I find that disgusting because what makes Syria really great is the fact that you have a million different religious groups and ethnicities. It's like a fabric, a patchwork, you know, and they took away the Jewish community from Syria. And they on top of that, they were, you know, when the earthquake happened a few months ago in Turkey and Syria, the, uh, the Turkish authorities caught Israelis trying to steal uh, an, an ancient Jewish artifact from Syria, right? Which, which was, it, it's always been in Syria. It comes from Syria. You know, uh, Syria has uh, some of the oldest monasteries on the planet, Christian monasteries. Uh, it has also, I think, the oldest synagogue in the planet, on the planet. You know, so there's, there, there's so much history for so many communities and, and religious groups. And now what Israel has done is they've damaged and destroyed some of that, that, um, uh, some of the, you know, the community, the Syrian population, and also the social fabric, which I find disgusting and, and unfair. And, <clears throat> excuse me. So they are anti-Semitic. The Israelis are yeah, really, truly anti-Semitic. Um, and and they, they, they claim they are Semites so that they can take the land and say, oh, you know, we've always... No, you haven't. You have not been here. Every Israeli prime minister is Eastern European. They come from Poland, from Ukraine, from Russia... You know, and there's, once again, there's nothing wrong with emigrating somewhere. On the contrary, uh, Jews were emigrating to Palestine for four decades with no problem. But then the plan behind that, behind Zionism, and why you had the mass emigration, was to create Israel. 
then there was a problem because now you're putting one group on a pedestal and and it make it turning it into an ethno state you know like oh that group is 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 superior to all the others it doesn't work like that you can't do that in the middle east you can't do that everybody is equal you have too many religious groups and ethnic groups to do this kind of stuff you you destroy the society and that's what israel has done they have just destroyed the entire region and 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 created so many problems by putting you know one part of the community on a pedestal and and having them control everybody else remember israelis are a minority just like the french were a minority in algeria but they're running the whole country and they're abusing the population the native population and and, and then pretending they're victims on top of it i mean this is so disgusting really and you you should i want to show you a video this is from uh, the last few days i want you to see how israel treats jews who are pro palestinian i want you to just see this What, what, what is this behavior? What, what is this for? Why? 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 Jesus. So much for the Jewish state. You know, you, it's, <laughs> as soon as you open your mouth... And so much for democracy, right? They claim they're a democracy, but if you say you open your mouth about what the government's doing and how racist it is, and uh, and and you know that it's a colony, look, look how they treat you, even if you're Jewish. And this is no different from to a hundred years ago in Palestine when when I told you they were mass emigrating from Europe to create Israel. Uh, the Jews who were anti-Zionist, like the ones I just showed you on tape, were assassinated. One of them was going to London to, work, to talk to the British government to convince them not to do, uh, you know, what the Balfour Declaration set out to do, which is create a Jewish uh, state in Palestine, you know, as if Palestine belongs to Britain or something. You know, the arrogance. And in any case, this guy was assassinated by the Zionists, by the Israeli uh, militias that then became the Israeli army, just because he was anti-Zionist. I think, you, you know, you get the point. Uh, there, there's, uh, definitely no freedom of speech here. There's no, uh, uh, you know, there's no room for dissent. Uh, you either, you, you either do what they say or they're going to whip you. They're going to kill you. Jewish, not Jewish. Doesn't matter. And, and, and many of the, the, if you look at the pro-Palestinian, uh, voices, you know, many of them are Jewish actually. And then they get attacked by the, you know, Jewish lobby, uh, or I should say Zionist lobby, excuse me, you know, like APAC or the other uh, variations in the UK, and they call them self-hating Jews. Again, what happened to the democracy aspect? I thought you can have, you know, debate and discuss things. No, no, you're a self-hating Jew. You can't win. You can't win with, col you know, with, with colonial, uh, you can't, with, can't win against um, colonizers because the colonialism is too ingrained in their brains. It's, it's not going anywhere.